Good afternoon. I'm Mark Little from MyVet Imaging, and I'm just going to briefly go over our dental system, our offering. Currently, I have in front of me our USB connection to our CMOS detector. We have a 1.5 sensor, and we also offer a size 2. 1.5 would be more apt for the cats, and the size 2 would be just a slightly bit larger for the dogs. About 90% of the market is the number 2. It is versatile enough to do both. Currently, I have a sheath on it, easily removable. And from there, we can see the actual sensor. Seamless integration here, so there's no bacteria that can get in there. And we've also created a point where you can pivot this without having it break off. With a lot of the other systems out there in the market, this will eventually fail, and the whole system would have to be replaced. The connection itself, as I mentioned, is just a USB, standard USB connection. With our system as well, you can actually operate a one and a one and a half and a two, simply by swapping out the USB. I'm just gonna show you quickly how fast we can actually take a dental image with our new software. I've taken the liberty of already inserting a patient, um, but don't forget we have a work list functionality as well. So that gives you the option from the front desk entering the demographics to pushing the demographics right to our system, which means there's gonna be no hands on the keyboard. The demographics will appear automatically in our system. So once the patient's actually on there and registered, we're simply gonna do a double click. And we're already at the planning stage. So that was one click. If it was an emergency, it would be one click and taking images. For this purpose, we're gonna click in, choose the tooth we're gonna to use, click start, and at this point, we're actually ready to hit the expose on one of our dental units. Once we hit expose, the image comes up. And then you have the ability to do all the contrast brightness and all the other measurement functions that we have. But in essence, 30 seconds, you're up and running and you can do dentals. Let's go through a few of the tools in our software offering. First, some of the basic ones, panning, moving the image around magnification so we can actually zoom in and zoom out onto a specific region of interest perhaps. We have full screen, auto fit onto the full screen. We also have the region of interest window leveling. So as you can see we can contrast and brightness. And we also have the ability to flip and rotate. Down with the annotations we have the ability to add arrows, uh, free text so if you have a few comments you'd like to make you can put them directly on to the image. We also have the ability to show overlays. So for instance, if you don't want the owner to see all the rest of the information, you can toggle that back on and off. So you just have the raw image itself to look at. You can of course delete all the annotations you've done and start again. And then we have the ability to do the freehand draw. The nice thing as well is if we hit the edit button on, on all of these as well, you can customize these buttons. So if there's certain buttons that you do not use at all, we can get rid of those to declutter the screen. At the bottom for image management, we have the ability to do DICOM send. We have, uh, you can look at the DICOM information as our images are DICOM compliant, and you can also do JPEG. You have the ability to print them if you wish, and add comments on the whole series as well. And as I suggested before, you have the ability to uh, customize it and apply markers or remove markers as you see fit. But those are some of the basic tools that we offer within our software for both our 1.5 and our 2 sensor. Um, we can provide a laptop, you can provide your own laptop. Uh, nonetheless, installation of the software is three minutes and you're up and running. So it's a great feature, very quick, and it adds, uh, definitely adds value to your practice with our dental software.